Greetings! You have joined me on my final expedition in the solo play of Monster Expedition. If you need to see the previous nine, link is up above right now. You can click in there and see the previous nine before you start in here. Otherwise, I will go over everything you need to know for this. The game is played thusly. I choose a camp. I'm going to roll the dice. As I roll the dice, I bank numbers. If I roll all of or all the dice that show a number of dice I've already banked, I'm going to lose one die of my highest rolled value. Then I can keep going, or I can stop and just use what's left. I am then going to try and capture monsters in the tableau based on whatever camp I choose. So there's the yellow, the green, and the blue. The value to get them is up here in the corner. This is the monster dealer. They cost 40, and they would give me six cages. When I take cages, I take it from my reserve deck, not this main deck. After I've captured the monsters I can capture, I am then going to be using the dice values to upgrade my camps based on it. So it's a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 7. Some of these monsters have special powers. You'll notice these have these symbols with the plus black die. Once I get one of each symbol, I'll be able to roll an extra black die when I go. The bottom feeder has this one. I will instantly upgrade my green camp when I get him. And he also has that symbol. Same thing with all of them. The point values down here only matter in a multiplayer game, not in a solo game. I am going to lose if there are 13 monsters in the display, or if I need to draw from this deck and it runs out. That being said, let's get into the special expedition rules. Solensula is to become a trading post for the Royal Monstrological Society. Your fellow members ask you to catch all the monsters there to make the island habitable. Victory condition. There is not a single card in the wilderness display. Um, so, special rules. Create a face-down deck of 12 cards. Normally, it's only 10. Use the special rules for the crates from Expedition number 9. However, they now reduce the monster level of the monster trader's value by 10 points each. Remove the monster trader from the wilderness display after you visit it once. So, how those crates work is if I bank a set of one, two, and three, I will get two of these crates denoted by these tokens right here. And I can use each crate to deduct 10 points from either monster trader's value or one of the monsters. It can go at or below zero, in which case the camp I choose doesn't matter. I can still collect it. All right, so I got to empty out the wilderness display, which seems like it might be a little tough, especially if you watched my last playthrough. All right, so we are going to get started. Let's go ahead and start with yellow. So we just get two and a yellow. We roll it. Let's keep our 10. And we roll these, keep our three, and re-roll, and we got us a two. So we have 15 to spend in yellow. Let's just go ahead and grab the 12 value Kukagi. With a two, we upgrade this. With a three, we upgrade this. And that is all it is to that. Flip over another card. Let's bring our Omnimorph here so our yellows are together. Can't do that with all of them yet, but we're gonna do it like that. All right, so Kukagi, done. Upgrade, done. Let's go blue, because I do want to try and get that whole set so I can start getting more dice. Plus, the more dice I roll, the higher chance I can get a 1, 2, and 3. Should I save the 8? We're going to save the 3. Let's save the 2. Got to save the 6. So I'm hoping to roll 1 so I can get two of those tokens. A 4. All right, that's still fine, I guess. So we're at 15 in blue. So we are actually going to take this bottom feeder because it's good for the set, but it also instantly upgrades my green camp. Then any other upgrades, we have a two, so that upgrades. We have a three, so this upgrades again. Another card. We are going to go green camp, which gives us four and a green die. Bank the two, because I didn't want to get rid of my green as a three, even though two threes might have been good. There's no way I can roll two sets of one, twos, and threes. 
Let's save the one. Let's save the three. And the seven, and we're gonna stop. All right, so I have a bank set of one, two, and three. So I get two of these tokens. I am at 10, 12, 13 in green. Can't get that, but I could get that. Or I could start using this to clear out some stuff. I'm going to, ooh, wait, I'm at 13. 10, 12, 13. So I could use one on there and knock out both of them. 13. That is a possibility. That would have me steal a cage. I don't really care about the cages, but I need to get rid of everything anyways. But I want more of the symbols. So I'm going to use one of these to decrease this by 10, which makes it a 4. And an 8 is 12. Like so. So we have one whole set. Like that. Okay, now we upgrade our camps. So this upgrades by one, this upgrades by one, the three upgrades this, and then the seven upgrades it as well. So it would be cool to use green because I get all those dice, but I want to get some other colors. So let's go with let's go with blue, seeing as I get more dice there, and I have a possibility of upgrading yellow more before I use it again. So that gives us four. One from our set, and the blue die. We'll save the three. We'll save the sixes. Save the one. And we'll take the two. Yes. So we're going to stop there. Now we have three of these, so we can actually bring that down to 10, so we could always visit that this turn, but I think I want to focus on the blue, uh, the blue cards. So we are at 12, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I can't normally get that, but... So I could lower that, like I said, that could bring it down to 10. I'm at 12, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I can't do that. That would be 20. We're going to spend one to lower that by one. So that's going to be 10, which gives us that. So that's us up there. I may regret that, but it's okay. Let's move the yellow, yellow guy over that way. Do my upgrades. So that upgrades by one. That upgrades, and that upgrades. All right, we are going to do, oh, put out a card. We are going to do yellow. So that gives us four die and one. And then the yellow die, because I'm hoping to get one more of the yellow so I can get more dice. We're going to save the threes. Save the twos. <laughs> and the one. And we're going to stop. So we have a set. So give me two of these. Like so. We are at 6, 10, 11. Let's see, 11. So I could just do that for free. Have my 11 to get the Kukagi. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to use these four. To visit the monster dealer for free, which gives us one, two, three, four, five, and six cages. They go away. And then we're just going to use our six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Grab the Kukagi to finish off that set. So we have a one. We have two twos, two threes. So this is fully upgraded. Bring these down. Bring out our next card. It is a green, so we are going to go green. So we get six dice, two extra, so this is the max amount of dice I can roll. We're 
we're going to save the two twos. Let's save the two threes. Do I save the six? Let's save the six. Uh, we're saving the five. Uh, we're banking the four. So we lose our six. We are. Let's roll one more time. Yes, so we banked the one. So we have two sets. So that gives us four of these one, two, three, and four. We are at 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. 21 in green. So we're at, so what do we got? We got 40, 50, 63. What did I say we were right here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. So that would be for free. That could do that. That could bring him down to there. Yep, that's free. 10, 20, 2, 13, 5, 8, 10, 14, 15, 16. Don't quite have enough for him. That is fine, though. So we are going to... Actually, instead of doing him, we're going to grab that. So... There we go. Four, six, seven, eight. That way the big one's gone. So we use all these. And we grab all of these guys. That steals a cage. So I just take one from there. Like so. Alrighty, next card is a yellow. So let's go ahead and... Make sure I'm doing these all right. So I got that, I got that, I got that. I got that, I got that, I got that. There's that. Bufo Morph can actually be used as any. So I actually can do three extra dice with my yellow. So we are going to do, I right, flipped over the card. We're going to do yellow, which is four dice. I get three extra from all of that. Give me the yellow. Bank our threes. Oh, I didn't upgrade, did I? So that's actually upgraded one, two, so I should have one extra die. And this actually topped off. All right. I got so excited with all the other stuff going on. Uh, bank the twos. We'll just bank the one one so I can just call it a day. Bank the two fours. And an eight, and we're done. So that's going to give me two of these. So I am at eight, sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 37, 47, that's 25, 50, so I can't get them all. Let's grab them. So that's 25 there. That's 12 there. So grab them. Grab them. There we go. Bring these down. Um, upgrade, I have 1-1. One, one. So that upgrades like that. And our next card, so we have one of each out there. But if I get the tokens, I can grab ones that aren't of the same. So we are going to go, I think, yellow again. So that's two, four, six. I am at max dice with the yellow. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep the 10. I want to try and go for the 1s, 2s, and 3s. 
lot of ones. We'll go with the two threes. Go with the two twos. That was a two you saw. All right, come on, a couple of ones, and I'll be happy. No ones, so we'll keep the sixes. That's cocked. A four. I th think we're going to call it there just so I can get that yellow. Yeah, we're just going to call it. So grab the yellow guy. There's a big yellow. That would have been helpful to have when, with this roll. But we are going to do the yellows again. The twos. So I have two cards left. Keep the three. Keep the ones. Keep the ten. So while we're at ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 39, so I would be able to get him. Yeah, we're going to stop. Don't want to risk it too much. So we do get two of these. So that's 32. So that's 10, 13, 17, 19, 29, 39. Would have liked to use one of them to get them for free, but need to get rid of the big guy. Like so. Everything's already maxed upgraded. Alrighty, let's go with yellow. Two threes. Ten. Two ones. Come on, give me give me two twos. Two twos. No twos. We'll keep the fives. Twos. Keep the four. Two. Yes, so at least one two. So that gives us those two. So we definitely have enough to get him. We'll use this to bring him down to zero to get him even off the color. And we'll grab him with all the dice. And I have one left. What's the final color? Yellow. So we'll go up with yellow. Final time. All right. So I need one set of one, two, and three, and 14. It's a lot of threes. I've taken a lot of dice out of here. Let's keep the six. Keep the ones, because I don't need, well, actually, I only need one set, so let me take out the three. That was slightly cocked. Uh, I guess we're taking out the three twos. Let's take the seven. Give me a one, and I win. One, and I win. One. We have one, two, and three, which gives us two of these. These two go there. We have seven, 13, and 14. So this is empty, and I completed it on the final turn. Whew, that one was interesting and actually pretty fun. I will say out of all the expeditions, this one I enjoyed the most. If you watched the last video, no, I did not do anywhere near as well in that one. The rolling definitely was more lucky this time. All right, but that was the Monster Expedition, the entire Solo Expedition playthroughs, as I showed you in that link above. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this, and if there's another kind of solo-ish campaign type of game like this you might want me to take on, and I'll see if I have it or can get it and do that for you. Otherwise, if you can still do ahead the other stuff, the whole liking the video, subscribing to the channel, ringing the bell, sharing the video, and whatnot. 
And with that, come visit Solinsula. <laughs>